These are things that as a celiac of 10 plus years haunt me and that I beg general society and the general public not to do for the sake of your gluten-free and celiac friends. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Taylor. I'm a registered dietitian specializing in celiac and I've also been living with celiac for 10 plus years. And as I scroll social media, I become increasingly scared of what I see and it makes living with celiac feel constantly like that much harder just because of the weird things people find to do that could potentially gluten their friends. So Let's just dive into the things that I am haunted by and really hope that you don't do, um, especially if you're trying to be helpful of your celiac friends. And if you're a celiac watching this, um, you know, just know that like if you're scared or upset by any of these things, that's valid because like, why? Why are we doing this? Can we not? <laughs> so let's just get into it. Um, bringing this up, making my video small so you can actually see what I'm talking about. First is using pasta water to wash your dishes. Um, the Eco Fairy has this like post up about using pasta waters to wash your dishes because the starch in the water can act as a detergent. Um, but I've also seen videos like this go viral in like the uh, eco environment or like the eco community on Instagram and other social media platforms where like people use pasta water to wash your dishes. And um, I think I speak for like most of the general public when I say like, don't do that, that's gross. That's gross, just, just use soap. But also I think I speak for every celiac when I say like, just use soap. Just use soap to wash your dishes. Okay, just use dish soap. Thank you so much. Um, especially with celiac disease or, you know, if you're preventing allergenic contamination with most things, reducing cross contact is usually done most effectively with soap. So like, just use soap, please. Thank you so much. Okay, all right. Um, the other thing is I, this happens like every spring, summer, these like hacks on like how to wash your fruits and vegetables starts popping up. This was posted by Kale Junkie, and this is a gorgeous photo, by the way. Um, and, you know, like they were saying, you know, wash your grapes with flour to make them shiny. And it's not just them. This, like, went viral over social media. And I've seen this, like, recommended for other things, too, like berries. And, like, just don't. Just use water. Um, I think the, the USDA, I don't think, the USDA suggests just using water. You don't need to use anything else to clean fruits and vegetables. Just washing with water and removing any debris that's left over is effective. Just use water. You don't need to use flour. And if you are going to use something else like baking soda or something else, that's fine. Don't use flour though, please. Like that's contaminating your grapes unnecessarily. And like as people who, like, you know, someone could have a wheat allergy, but also like as a celiac, I don't want to have to ask how did you wash your grapes or how did you wash your berries or how did you wash X, Y, like just use water. It just, it just makes things that much less complicated. Just use water, <laughs> please. Um, the other thing that I would, you know, I'm haunted by and would like to not be is uh, this idea of using bread and putting that in our brown sugar to prevent it from clumping. Um, that's cool. Like, I'm so glad that it does that. This is posted by The Perfect Pantry, and they uh, had some rock-hard brown sugar. They put some bread in it, and it softened it right up. Um, but also, like, they make brown sugar bears to do this, and there's no reason to contaminate your brown sugar. Like, I would like to not have to ask about that. But... Also, I will give this like, I will give this one a slight pass in that generally if we're cooking for gluten-free friends or if you're cooking for gluten-free friends, you're going to want to use a separate bag of sugar, a dedicated gluten-free bag of sugar, a new bag of sugar that hasn't been dipped, reached, or scooped into. Um, so like it's less of a concern, less of a worry, but you also like could literally just buy a brown sugar bear designed specifically to do this and put it in there and, and reduce the risk of contaminating your brown sugar for people who have a wheat allergy or celiac or anything like that that you might be cooking for. And then, um, you know, the last two things that I that I am haunted by and would like to not have to worry about and hope that people just can stop doing this, and I know it's a big ask, is um, I've seen a hack go around on social media about dusting bacon with flour and then baking it or crispier baking it ba bacon or cooking it for crispier bacon and um, I would just ask like you use cornstarch instead if you have to do this but also like if you cook bacon long enough it does get crispy um so like you know could we not could we not and then finally um 
serving slices of bacon on bread to catch the grease. I see this, uh, I actually see this done a lot less, but I know it's something that hotel chains can do. Um, and if you've worked in hospitality a lot, you might have learned this and do this too. Um, but just not doing that is really helpful in preventing anyone who has like any kind of, you know, uh, wheat allergy or gluten related disorder and like I don't want to have to I mean I I am going to but I don't I wish I didn't have to ask like oh are you are you putting your bacon on bread to catch grease like you could just use paper towels I would hope you use paper towels like if you're using bread you're also wasting bread doing that and you could just use a paper towel um so like you know just use a paper towel please <laughs> Um, I know, like, these are big requests, big requests coming from a fellow, a fellow celiac, from a celiac, and, like, you know, it could just be more inclusive if we did these things, and I don't feel like these things are necessarily, like, detrimental to how society operates or how, like, you operate or most people operate, so, like, if you could easily make those changes, that would be great, because speaking from experience and also speaking for all of my celiac friends, um, it would just make life so much less anxiety written like before you think about using flour or using bread to do anything like special with ingredients or storing ingredients or cleaning things like think about like oh um you know maybe I don't do that maybe I just use the things that are already in place to to do that um and also like seriously washing your dishes with pasta is gross I I that is a hill that I think I want to die on I I think I think that's the one one of the ones one of the ones. There are many hills, actually, that I will die on. Um, but all that said, if you have celiac and you're watching this and you've been stressed by these trends, it's totally valid to feel stressed and scared. And um, it can also feel, like, really overwhelming, really frustrating because it's like, oh, another thing that I have to keep in the back of my head and know to ask about. It can feel really cumbersome, really burdensome. And also know that knowing that these things can happen helps us better advocate for our safety. So it's frustrating. It's annoying. I wish we didn't have to do it. And it can also help us stay safe. So... If you watch this and you have celiac, these are some things that you may want to ask about if you're, you know, eating grapes or fruits and you want to know how they were washed, um, eating like anything made with sugar generally, like you just want someone to buy a new bag of sugar when cooking for you. Um, if you need more help with knowing how to teach people how to cook with you and source ingredients for you, I've got some resources down below. Um, and then, you know, like making sure when people are preparing bacon, they're not do cut coating it in flour, they're not dusting it with flour, they're not like soaking up the grease from it on top of a, like putting it on top of bread and, um, you know, not washing dishes with pasta water. I really hope, I sincerely and deeply and truly hope that all of my friends and family and all of the people that I know and I'm close with know that soap is the best thing to use to wash things with and that they're using soap. In fact, you know, if you're cooking for me, I know you use soap because I'm letting you cook for me, but like, please no pasta water <laughs> um what were you shocked by did you know all of this let me know in the comments what are things that you want people to stop doing or trends that you don't want people to follow also let me know in the comments what are you haunted by if you found this helpful entertaining you want more celiac related content from a celiac specialized dietitian and fellow celiac of 10 plus years go ahead and hit the subscribe button and i will see you when i see you